This fucking audio was made by No Bullets. Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to be explaining to you guys how I got caught at school with a cart or a dad pen, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and charged with possession of marijuana, which is... It's just not very fun, especially at 14. You don't want to be in the court system, but there's three major ways I fucked up. And I'm going to be explaining to you guys what not to do so you don't fuck up like me. The first way that I fucked up really bad is not learning from my lesson. Because I got caught with a Delta 8 dab pen. They don't have much THC in them. In my state, you can buy them from gas stations. So what they did is they only gave me a seven day suspension, which is only a week of school, like one week. They, they kicked me out for one week. Let me come back to school. Since I'm such a dickhead, I decided that like the first day I go back to school, hey, why don't I buy a fucking cart? Because I'm a fiend. So that's the first way that I really fucked up. The second way is not trying to fucking hide it. Because as soon as I bought that, I went straight into the gym that morning and got faded with all my friends. And we weren't giving a fuck. We were just hitting it in our sleeve, blowing it onto the, blowing it like towards our feet. So I think that's also how I fucked up. I think that's how they might have like been suspecting me and my friends. And the third and final way that I fucked up is not having good friends that I can trust because that's how I got caught. Someone I thought I was cool with, someone I thought we were like, I thought we were friends. Went and told the damn teacher. But let's get on to how I actually got caught. So like I said, I went back to school. I bought the cart that morning. It was a great morning. Uh, I got my breakfast in the cafeteria. Went to the gym. Hung out with my friends. Got nice and stony baloney. And then headed to first period. First period was fine. That's reading development because I'm slow. So... It's an easy class. I sit there, I do their stupid reading program, and I get a piece of candy. Like, I'm a toddler. I fuck with it. So that class flew past. I got super faded, had a good time in that class. The teacher was always super, super sweet. And then it moves on to second period, which was Algebra 1, and we had a test that day. And let me tell you, trying to do Algebra while cooked is not the easiest fucking thing to do. I was sitting there, I was like, my brain is not working. It was like, my brain, like, the best way I can describe it is like a lawnmower that won't start. Like, when you pull that cord, it just wasn't, it wasn't working out. I was not getting that test done. There was no way. So, what I ended up doing is using a beautiful app on my phone called PhotoMath. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's a godsend for dummies like me, bruh. That shit saved my life on more than one occasion. But that's what I used. I ended up just cheating the whole test. I don't know what I got because I got suspended that day or expelled. But <clears throat> after second period was done, it wasn't too bad. The whole class was quiet. I got to sleep after I was done with my test. I forgot to mention that the way my high school works, it's kind of weird. You only have four periods throughout the day, but they're like an hour and a half long. Like they're longer than a normal period in like middle school or probably most other high schools. I don't know why they do it like that, but... They do. But moving on to third period, which is Spanish. And it was good at first because, once again, that teacher is super nice in there. And she didn't really give a damn what we did. But we had to go up in front of the class and present <laughs> present our Spanish paper. And let me tell you, doing that well faded. Oh, my God. Scariest thing in my life. I'm stuttering more than I do normally. It was bad. But since that was my third period, directly after that class, I went to lunch. And that's when the shit hit the fan. That's when everything went bad. That's when everything went down. Now, throughout the day, I hadn't particularly seen, like, anyone in my friend group that I hung out with in the gym that morning. But once I got to the cafeteria and sat at my lunch table, I seen one of them. And apparently he said that some of the kids we were with in the gym in the morning got searched because they got caught high and snitched on me because I was the one with the cart. I hear this information. I lose my shit. I start, I put it in my shoe. That's what I did. I tucked the cart in my shoe thinking, thinking all that would help. But my friend didn't want to hold it for me because he didn't want to get caught, which I kind of blame him. 
I wouldn't want to get caught either. So, as I'm sitting there, our school has like several principals for each grade. It's kind of weird. But as I'm sitting there, a resource officer comes and puts his hand on my shoulder and says that I need to go to the front office. And I say, why? I'm like, what? Why? And he says that I'm probably going home. He don't know. I just got called to the office. Blunt faced lie. He knew the fuck why I was going to the office. He just didn't want to say it and freak me out. So I'm on my way to the office. The resource officer is right behind me. I have no way of hiding this thing any more than it is. I feel like I have a tumor stuck to my fucking heel. Like the cart's inside my shoe. The pen, the cart, everything. It's in my one shoe. So here I am walking to the front office. Absolutely faded. With a damn tumor. It felt like I had a tumor in my fucking shoe. But I'm still a little bit calm. Like there's a little bit of hope and confidence. That I'm not in trouble. But when we get to the front office, instead of just having me sit down and wait for my parents to pick me up or something like that, he tells me to go straight back to the principal's office, and my heart drops. Like, my heart, like, my chest was hurting. I'm freaking out. And then when I get in there, Mr. Wodeshek, which is, like, the big main discipline, like, he takes care of all the discipline for my grade, and... He he sits me down, and since I was on, I was already on school probation for the first time I got caught. He sits me down, and he's like, "Tristan, uh, we have some reason to believe that you have something on you right now that is in violation of your tier three school probation laws." And I'm like, "What? What do you mean? No, I haven't done anything. I've just been trying to get my grades up and be a good guy. What do you mean, man?" And he's like, "Well." We've gotten some reports that you might have some drug paraphernalia on you, and we are going to search you. But this wasn't like the first time they searched me, because I just gave it up the first time. I wasn't. I, it was in my pocket. They already knew it was there. I just gave it to them. This time, my plan was to try to hide it from them. When they said search me, I thought they were going to pat my damn pockets down or something. Fuck no. They whipped out a metal detector. Fucking metal detector. It looked like a, like, it looked like a lightsaber, kind of. And like it was like a little hand. It almost looked like a short sword. I'm losing my shit. Talk about freaking out. Like there, there was about ten pounds of shit in my pants. Like I was losing my mind. Sure enough, he tells me to take off my shoes. He metal detects my socks, and what do you guess? It beep beep beep. Right when he goes over my shoe, I take it out. I give it to him, and I just felt like defeated. Like I just felt upset about it. But then basically after that, they just called my parents and told them that I was caught and that I'm going to need to be picked up from school. And actually, they were going to just send me to the alternative school, but my parents decided to homeschool me. So that's a W because homeschool is fun. It's pretty easy to. But this video is wrapping up here. If you I have plenty of other stories like this that I would love to tell. And if you want to hear them, make sure you subscribe because there's definitely going to be more videos in the future similar to this.